Hey, I'm at, I'm at Woodlawn, Woodlawn and Enfield towards uh, Mopac if you're if you're still nearby. I said I'm I'm at, I'm at a stop on Woodlawn and Enfield. No, no, I'm actually filming. It looks like a yeah, pretend, it's a DUI cop, so it, it, it's, it's right before you get to Mopac if you take Enfield, which is like you take 15 all the way out to uh, Mopac, and 15 turns into Enfield. It just, well, um, the person's still in the car, so she hasn't been arrested yet. He or she hasn't been arrested yet, it looks like. Well, I can't tell, actually. Yeah, the, the the light's still on, so I can't I can't tell where the where the person is if they're in the back of the car or not. Yeah, hey. Yeah, it's it it's it, I can't tell. I can't tell. I know the uh, cop who who pull, who's. Oh, so the guy's already in the back of the car. This is Martin. This is the cop who who raped the woman. Yeah. But he already has a guy in the back of the car, and the guy's guy's yelling. Yeah, Martin. Martin arrested my uh, my buddy when I he pulled my buddy over when I was in the car. This guy's a fucking dirtbag. No, I think I'm gonna get out of here. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything to uh, get myself wrapped up in this. The guy's already in the back of the car. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, bud. Later. Okay, so we're at a D. It looks like probably a DWI stop because uh, Martin is with the DWI task force. We're off of Enfield and Woodlawn. It uh, looks like uh, Martin, the cop, uh, has the suspect in the back of the car. He's talking to him right now. Martin is someone that the Peaceful Streets Project knows decently well. Um, this guy uh, has defended uh, Patrick Borsky. Uh, the thug cop who st helped start the Peaceful Streets Project through his illegal actions. Uh, Martin, um, I was in the car when he pulled someone over who was completely sober. He arrested him. Uh, charges were eventually dropped because uh, my friend blew a 0.00 because .00 he was sober. Uh, but that didn't prevent him from going to jail for the night and spending thousands of dollars and losing his license for eight months or uh, six months. And uh, he's also raped a woman. You didn't rape anyone tonight, did you? And yeah, that's what I was going to... He's also raped a woman. Raped a woman and conveniently he... He made sure that the uh, video in his car was turned off during the entire ordeal. Even though when you're transporting someone that you've arrested allegedly for DWI, that you're not supposed to uh, turn the video off. I know that guy's Martin. Let's see who this guy is. This cop is in car 8549. And so the way a DWI task force works is these uh, DWI task force guys are usually solo. And then the police 
uh, typically send back up. And so A549 is back up. And here comes the um, the tow truck to tow away the DWI suspect's car. I'm good, comma. It's wrapping up. Period. So. Alright, Southside Towing's here. Can't see it, but it says Southside Towing. They're the uh, tow truck operators that always come, almost always I think, come to uh, retrieve DWI suspects' cars. Um, Southside Towing is run by a former cop, and it's just part of the, uh, the money-making scheme that goes on here in Austin and most most towns across the country where the people who profit off of the criminal justice system uh, take care of other people who profit off the criminal justice system. So Martin's pulling forward there, as you can see, his lights on and his door open. Excuse me, excuse me, officer. Is this your is this your stop or you just back up? Just back up. What's your name? Badge number? I can't hear you. Mosley. And what's the badge number? 7350? Thank you. Mosley 7350. He was just back up. So now they're going to go ahead and take his uh, car away. Uh, the guy's going to be hauled off to jail and he's going to go through the DWI process. I have no idea if he's actually drunk or not. But, uh, It's a pain in the ass if you get a DWI, that's for sure.